Hello there. Today I'd like to briefly show you how to set up a actual player named turret. Today we'll be discussing the regular turret cradle and a variety of different ways you can utilize them for an actual turret and placement. What I have here today is a work in progress, but it will be more than enough to actually show you what is necessary to have your own turret. So how this works, depending on your setup, if you have just one turret, then you can have settings for your turret pitch and your turret yaw respectively. But if you have more than one turret in placement, like I do, it gets a little bit more complicated than that. So just to demonstrate how this works, you use your WASD controls, and the reason I have the target designators on either side instead of two weapons is to show me somewhat where I'm aiming. And what we're doing here as well, this is where it gets a little trickier. So we actually have a uh, bit of a strange setting here. Um, I'm not entirely sure why it performs the way it does. But if you just leave the settings at vanilla, they will either aim straight forward or slightly away. Through troubleshooting, I have found in a case like this that I prefer to have a setup of a max rotation of 33 and a minimum rotation of 4.75, and then you respectively set it as the same one on the opposite turret, which seems counterintuitive, but it seems to work quite well. Now, additionally, we have some settings that need to be explained, because currently, in this example, we have TY standing for turret yaw, since the turret uh, cradle here is actually moving left and right for your yaw, and we have our turret pitch setting as vanilla on either turret rotation table. So normally, the value of a turret rotation table is going to just simply be turret rotation, but yet again we have changed it for pitch due to the angle we have mounted it on so it moves up and down for our pitch, and then again for the cradle it is moving left and right so it is our yaw. So how this works is we have two separate levers. We have one for turret yaw, and we have one for turret pitch. These values here for minimum and maximum output can vary based upon how you're placing the turrets on your ship and the field of view of which they have available. If you decide you want to actually make one of these, a little bit of troubleshooting may be required on your part in order to find the angle you want. This is a really bad timing. I'm warming up a pumpkin pie and I don't have time to stop the recording, so I'll be right back. All right, um, now that that's dealt with, now to explain how the code works. So for this setup, I am using a YOLO chip, just a basic one, nothing fancy is necessary. Now, there are two ways you can do this. You can either have a setting that multiplies the value 
of your original turret um, value for the yaw in this case which we have set for ty for turret yaw and you can multiply that by negative one and then have that line go to go to one but today we are simply using uh, this value today for ty equals turret yaw plus zero ty2 equals negative ty the reason why you have the plus zero is for whatever reason in my own personal troubleshooting if i change it to if i get rid of that value it seems to act a little strangely so this is kind of just to tell the mechanism to just uh double check its current position if you will it's uh not something I wrote myself, to, if I'm being quite frank. But through troubleshooting, this is what seems to work. And you can change the TY and TY2 values, respectively, to whatever you want to name for your turret yaw. We have a different example with these turrets that go, and the yaw is actually on the rotation table. So instead, we have the values of TP for toilet paper, and TP2 for two toilet paper. I'm kidding, it's for turret pitch. And I believe it was one of these. Yes. So instead of TY, we have TP. And we have the value of our lever for turret pitch instead of turret yaw. That was another thing I should have mentioned prior. So we actually are taking the value of turret yaw for this ball turret, respectively and the value of that lever is going to be here to tell TY what it needs to be set to. That's another reason I can't simply just do uh, TY times negative one for this current setup. But um, I digress. So just to show how this works one more time, we have our lever for turret yaw and that value is being sent to our line of code here, and it tells the turret yaw on our advanced cradles, I mean advanced regular cradles, what they need to be sent to. So if I move, if I move this respectively just a little bit, those values will change based on the lever's values telling the TY respectively on both sides, what they need to be. Now these turrets are a little bit more adjustable compared to the mouse name turrets I showcased before. You can make them a lot faster or a lot slower on this setup. I like a balance of just leaving both speeds at one. You can make them really fast however at three. But what I find is if you go too fast, let's see if I can, yeah. So if I go too fast here, you can see some of the lasers kind of misaligning here. And that's just with one. Well, on a setting of two or higher, they, they tend to misalign quite often. But anyways, um, thank you for your time. You all have a wonderful day. I hope some of this knowledge has been imparted to you in a way that is somewhat easily digestible. And you all have a wonderful day.